Welcome back to CCN GameCast, and welcome back to our YouTube channel if you guys are watching this on there, CCN Gaming. Go check it out if you haven't already. Subscribe, like, comment, uh, leave a comment down below to this video, uh, just letting us know that you guys have tuned in to listen to it, and that you guys are uh, still here, still enjoying the content. Let me know what you're thinking of the content lately. And without further ado, let's get into episode 6 of our weekly podcast. We have some pretty cool things to talk about, so let's get into it. <laughs> old news. So this is the part of the segment where we talk about the old news. Stuff that uh, we haven't, we, we've gone over already, and uh, we just like to talk about what we talked about in the last podcast. That way, if it's something you guys want to hear more of, you can go tune into that podcast and uh, listen to what we talked about. So, we started a new weekly power rankings. Now, to explain that and kind of sum it up easily, uh, we take a top 10 list and we find uh, off the real live uh, WWE wrestling, we find the top 10 of what we think should be on the top 10 if we were doing like a power rankings each week. So, what we do is we take, uh, we watch some content, watch some footage. Uh, from both Monday Night Raw, Tuesday Night SmackDown, and we compile a top 10. So whoever we think did best on the TVs, on the TV, uh, for the this past week, then we put them in a ranking system. So I think that's the best way to describe it. It's a little bit uh, jumbled up there, but I think you guys get the point. So we started that. I think it was a success. Uh, it's a very controversial topic to talk about because... People, uh, wrestling fans are a passionate uh, group of people. So there's always going to be conflict when you talk about your favorite wrestler or uh, who you think should be number one, who is number one. There's a lot of people that blindly just pick their favorite wrestler as their number one all the time, uh, a.k.a. me. Uh, although I'm not going to be picking him as number one the entire time, but... Everybody knows that I'm a huge John Cena fan. Always have been. Always will be. Um, but I'm not. Uh, I'm unbiased when it comes to making this top ten. I really try to pick it for what I see as the best performance of the week. Uh, so, yeah, I don't. I, a lot of people do blindly pick their number one every single time. But I mean, I don't do that. I do what I really think the wrestlers should have gained. So. Uh, without making this long and drawn out, we do have a new power rankings for this podcast this week. Uh, but So that's all we'll talk about right now about the power rankings. But we did start that last week, and uh, that's part of our old news. The Cruiserweight Championship. So we talked about this a lot last week, and it's one of probably the top topics of the last podcast. But it was kind of some breaking news that I really wanted to get out there, and that's that the Cruiserweight Championship will be coming to WWE 2K18 Universe Mode on our running series. Uh, if you guys haven't heard it already, Season 2 of Universe Mode right now that is currently running on my channel every week is going to be ending uh, at SummerSlam. And then Season 3 will continue from that story into WWE 2K18. So... Uh, with that being said, I think SummerSlam is a good cutoff for that. So I'm not sure when... Uh, I haven't actually done the math to when SummerSlam will uh, fall as to when WWE 2K17 transitions into 2K18. Uh, but we'll figure that out and it doesn't really matter. You guys, I think, will like the content irregardless. And I got some good plans in mind for SummerSlam. Um, so yeah, the Cruiserweight Championship will be coming to WWE 2K18 Universe Mode. When we kick off Season 3. And we're going to be doing it in a unique way too. So anybody that's listened to the last podcast knows how this way is going to come about. But we are going to do it with a Cruiserweight Classic. So we're going to stick a bunch of Cruiserweights in a tournament. And whoever wins that tournament, kind of like they did on uh, regular TV there, will walk out with the Cruiserweight Championship. Now I'm not sure how we're going to showcase the Cruiserweights. And I talked about this a little bit last week. Uh, I think we're going to do some sort of a 205 Live to some degree, but I'm not sure if we're going to incorporate the Cruiserweights into our Raw and SmackDown program or not. That we're going to have to find out down the road. So for now, uh, that's all the news I got on the Cruiserweight Championship and that coming to Universe Mode. That's pretty exciting, and I'm glad that we're going to get the chance to do that. 
Destiny 2. So we talked about Destiny 2 a little bit uh, the last podcast, but I literally had just gotten the game, so I hadn't had much playtime in it. So to report, and I will do this uh, a little bit later, I just wanted to talk about old news. So Destiny, we did talk about it a little bit. I did offer some opinions. We're still playing it, and we'll get onto that in a little bit. So we also talked about Ark taking the place of Conan Exiles for now. Uh, so I'm not sure whether or not there'll be an episode of Ark this week. Uh, I'm not sure. We haven't really played it a whole heck of a lot to get a lot of decent footage. I do have some, and I might compile it to make a video. But uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do with that, so don't expect an ARC video this week. Uh, but it is kind of taking the spot of Conan Exiles for now. Uh, I did have an update for Conan Exiles. I haven't got on and played it much. But we'll have to check that out uh, at the update and see how that's doing. So if you would like to join our Arc Ragnarok server, our dedicated server, you can go to the link down below on the YouTube channel and go to our Patreon, donate $5 a month and stay with us on the Arc server and build your own little town, your own little community along with us on the map. That's the one we play on. That's the one we bring the videos to YouTube on. And it's going to be cool to kind of grow that community. And I hope you guys... Uh, do take that offer. We have to ask a little bit just because it does cost money to run the server. So uh, if you guys can help donate towards that to help keep the server running, I think we can have a lot of fun as a CCN gaming community. New news. So the games that I've been playing lately. Uh, this is a, always a section that we try to do. Uh, so obviously I've been doing uh, WWE 2K17 a lot, uh, as you can see. From these past uh, Monday Night Raw and Tuesday Night Smackdown. Uh, the Beast, Brock Lesnar, made his debut onto the series. And that was wicked cool and wicked fun. Uh, Destiny 2 I've been playing a lot of. And this is the part where I'll talk about Destiny a little bit more in depth. Because I have completed the story on Destiny 2. And maxed out the level. Level 20 is like the max you can get. Now you can still fill up your bar again and get bright engrams and stuff every time you do that. So it's almost like you're leveling up further, but you're not really. So you kind of stay at level 20. But uh, yeah, I've been playing Destiny 2 a lot. We got one character finished. I've been playing with a buddy of mine. We got one character completely finished, uh, maxed out, the story completed. And now we've started another character and we've gotten uh, half to three quarters of the way through that. So, And then we'll go through the third and... There's different three different classes. There's Hunter, Titan, and Warlock. We've already finished the Hunter one. I think most people play as a Hunter, really. It's one of the uh, cooler classes. And now I'm going through with the Titan, and then I'll go through with the Warlock after that. So I really love the game. I think the game is... Uh, I think the game is much better than the original Destiny. Now, I also started playing the original Destiny a little bit, and I got the expansions, the Taken King and the Rise of Iron... And I've been playing that more. And I want to beat that game after we get done with Destiny 2. And uh, just so I played them both. Uh, Destiny 2 has made me appreciate the original Destiny no more. But uh, not completely to the point where I'm happy with the original Destiny. The original Destiny was lacking in some things that the Destiny 2 is much better at. So I have been playing uh, lots of Ark as well. Uh, like I said, we've I've been playing it a lot. I don't know if I really got a lot of good footage to share with you guys. And I kind of want to get on there at some point on my own again and start uh, building, uh, continue building just stuff in general. I don't want to uh, just do taming and hunting all the time. I'd rather just uh, kind of build with you guys, try to get a community growing over there, more people onto the server to join us and have some fun. I think that'll be uh, pretty awesome if we can get that. GTA 5. So I've been playing GTA 5 a lot. Uh, not Well, not a lot, lot, but, you know, I've been getting on there every once in a while and playing and messing around, and we don't really do anything that important. We just do a couple missions. Uh, I haven't tried the new DLC stuff. They're always releasing something new with that. I think there was a gun running thing, and then there was uh, some other kind of new DLC they just released. And I haven't really messed with that too much. Most of it takes like more money than what I have in my account on GTA 5. So I don't mess with that. Our new power rankings. 
So, we got a list of 10 superstars here that we have compiled over the last couple of shows of Monday Night Raw and Tuesday Night Smackdown over the past week. It is Thursday. I'm recording this on Wednesday, so it is after Monday Night Raw and Tuesday Night Smackdown. So, let's kick off this countdown. I'm really excited to get into this and explain to you why I picked the people I picked. Number 10, Jinder Mahal. So, this guy has surprised me from day one. He goes, first of all, he was 3MB. He was the th- he was part of the three man band, nothing, basically. He was a nothing for a long time, and now Jinder Mahal comes back, and they've actually put him in a spot where he can grow. Now, the reason he hasn't been in the countdown before is that I didn't believe in him. I did not believe in Jinder Mahal. I thought Jinder Mahal was just going to fade out quick. However, he's hung in there. And he's starting to grow on me as a good heel. And he's obviously WWE champion. So with those all the facts uh, compiled together, that's why he's number 10 this week. Number 9, Ty Dillinger. So Ty Dillinger I had on the countdown last week. Uh, let me look at... He was number 9 last week as well. Uh, Ty Dillinger kept a solid... Uh, Steady headway. Uh, he had a phenomenal match with AJ Styles, like always. And uh, Baron Corbin obviously attacked them both uh, at the end of the match. But uh, yeah, Ty Dillinger retaining his spot at number nine for this week's power rankings. Number eight, Enzo Amore. So this one's probably going to be controversial too. But Enzo Amore has made his uh, debut on 205 Live. Uh, just recently, and he is now going to be taking on Neville for the Cruiserweight Championship. Enzo came out and had a good promo with The Miz. I thought it was quite comical. The Miz and Maurice now expecting their first child. Uh, So with all those things compiled together, Enzo Amore is at number 8 for this week's Power Rankings. Making their debut at number 7, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Rollins and Ambrose. So I couldn't put these guys at number 10 and work their way up because these guys, they didn't grow on me at first. Uh, They won the tag team championships, and I was like, eh, all right. And now they've kind of gotten into a rhythm. They had a match with the Hardy Boys on Raw. Uh, I thought they looked great. I thought they looked great as a tag team. Uh, So did the Hardys, like always. So Rollins uh, Rollins and Ambrose now at number seven as the Raw tag team champions. That kind of helps, too, on the power ranking. So, number seven, Rollins and Ambrose. Number six, Roman Reigns. So, Roman Reigns was on last week's as well at number four. Roman Reigns drops a little bit to number six. Uh, Let me find a good reason for that. Uh, Roman Reigns is still uh, shooting on John Cena. John Cena's shooting on him. I still feel like John Cena's kind of knocking it out of the park more uh, than what Ambrose is every week. Uh, Ambrose kind of ate his words and was facing Jason Jordan and had a long match with Jason Jordan. A good match, might I add. But he still kind of proved himself wrong. And... uh, Creatively, I think that's great. The way the matches have played out, I think that's great. So Roman Reigns, uh, still on the countdown. Just dropped a couple of slots to number six. Number five, Jason Jordan. So this one's probably going to be a little controversial, especially when I put him ahead of Roman Reigns. But the reason for that, Roman Reigns has been a big-time competitor with The Undertaker. He has faced uh, Seth Rollins. He has faced Triple H. He's faced almost every big guy in the business and now going up against John Cena. Jason Jordan, however, has been in the tag team division for a long time with Chad Gable and now has broken out as a singles competitor, putting on a phenomenal match with Finn Balor, a phenomenal match with John Cena, and a phenomenal match with Roman Reigns, all in a collective few weeks. Now, I didn't have him on the countdown last week, and the reason why is because 
I figured they were going for some kind of angle sooner than what they are. They're stretching it out a little bit. They're making this kid look like Kurt Angle. Now, Kurt Angle obviously was a main event superstar. And I do see Jason Jordan possibly making it to the main event. It's, like I said, it's controversial. But this kid is coming out here with big time superstars and putting on one heck of a match every time. So I see Jason Jordan as earning that number five slot. And here's the thing. You can only script a wrestling show so much. You can only write a story so much. It's the competitors that got to go out there and show the story in their match. And Jason Jordan may not be charismatic on the mic and may not be uh, this... I have. I think he looks... Uh, let me find the right words to say this. He doesn't look like a main event superstar right now, but he wrestles like one. Now, Daniel Bryan is famous for not looking like a main event superstar but he wrestles like one, and he was one, and he was champion. If they write the story right with Jason Jordan, he has no problem with his wrestling ability to be a main eventer. And with all of these things said, and I'm glad I got the chance to talk about Jason Jordan a little bit, with all these things said, Jason Jordan claims the number five spot on the power rankings. Depending on how he's done, even though he's lost, with his wrestling ability, he's gotten that far, and he's liable to go a lot further. Number four, Braun Strowman. So Braun Strowman was on our countdown last week at the number three spot. I moved him back one uh, just because we're seeing the same things from Braun Strowman. Destruction. He did put on a good match with John Cena. uh, Did a huge power slam onto the steps. Um, uh, He did send Big Show through the steel cage last week. We did find out the Big Show is going to have to have hip surgery because of that fall. Um, yeah, he hurt a guy. Uh, maybe not Braun Strowman. Maybe he didn't necessarily hurt the guy. But the way that the story was scripted got Big Show hurt. He's an older guy, and he went flying through the cage. And watching the footage, I thought that, you know, wow, this, this guy is, could be hurt. And he was. And that's too bad. Big Show is in literally the best shape that I think I've seen him in since his ECW days almost. Back when he was ECW champion in 2000 and... What was that? 2006 maybe? And uh, yeah, he's definitely in awesome shape. But he went through the cage and he got himself hurt. uh, Partially to Braun Strowman's fault and to the creator's fault. Uh, It made an impact. But at the... It made an impact at the expense of one of your top tier, I would say, and one of your legendary superstars in the big show. And that shit happens. And I say that like that because it does. People get hurt. When you're working in that kind of business, people get hurt. So don't take it the wrong way when I say that, uh, you know, it sucks. But it, it to make a big point with Braun Strowman... To throw around a giant like that made its point, but you also lost one of your uh, good superstars. And uh, we don't know how much time Big Show's got left. I heard that uh, 2017 was going to be his last year. So I don't think he'll go out like that, and I hope he doesn't go out like that. Because they shouldn't build up Braun Strowman to be this massive dude at the hands of Big Show, who's now you know, not going to be able to compete due to hip surgery for a while. So... That's my thoughts on it. Uh, Let's move on to the next number. Number three, John Cena. So I have to put John Cena here. Uh, Once again, he's not a number one like he was last week. He's dropped down a couple of slots, but he's still holding strong there with his promos. Uh, Braun Strowman, power slamming him onto the steps. Uh, Cena took a beating. He did take a beating from Braun Strowman. He held in there strong, Uh, but, you know... Obviously, at the end, John Cena, I don't think he picked up the victory. Not for what I saw. but So, he still holds strong. Number three, John Cena. Number two, and this one's going to get controversial. I can already feel it. Kevin Owens. 
I had to put Kevin Owens here, and he was on the countdown to last week at number five. I put Kevin Owens at number two this week. He got into a conversation with Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon brutalized Kevin Owens. He literally laid the smack down, no pun intended, on Kevin Owens. And uh, so Shane McMahon ended up getting indefinitely suspended. I understand. That's fine. Kevin Owens this week, however, meets face-to-face with Mr. McMahon. And Mr. McMahon got the beatdown of his lifetime. Kevin Owens with a headbutt legitimately busted open the chairman, Mr. McMahon. He made that fight with Mr. McMahon look real. I mean, half of it was real. I mean, you can't fake the falls. You can't fake gravity. But, uh, yeah, Kevin Owens laid the beat down on Mr. McMahon. That I had to put him at number two for that reason. So number two, Kevin Owens. Number one. I told you last week, and it's going to reign supreme this week. A countdown would not be complete without this man, especially being in the top five, and that is AJ Styles. AJ Styles comes out every week. He's United States champion, so automatically he should be on this countdown anyway, even though I know all the champions aren't on here. But AJ Styles is United States champion. He had a phenomenal match with Ty Dillinger. So therefore, in my opinion, AJ Styles comes out here consistently every week and he puts on a great show. He's still a champion. He reigns supreme over Ty Dillinger, even with a Baron Corbin interruption, even though I thought that he was going to lose his title after the Baron Corbin interruption. But he came out there, he beat them, he beat Ty Dillinger in one heck of a match, retained his championship. Therefore, he retains a spot on the top ten, and not only the top ten, but the top one. He is number one on our countdown this week for the power rankings is AJ Styles. So that is all the time we have for you here on the CCN Gamecast podcast. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, Once again, leave a comment down below if you agree, disagree with these power rankings. Let me know what you would put down for the number one slot for the week. I think it's kind of interesting to see. Maybe let me know what you would put down for the top five. Let me know if I hit it on the head or if I missed some things or if you guys think that uh, maybe I didn't put down the right person. Uh, This is a platform where you guys can express yourself, and I expect that. But once again, thank you guys so much for your support here on the YouTube channel and on the uh, podcast here on iTunes Podcast, or Apple Podcast, rather. And keep tuning in to all this stuff. Leave a like, a comment, subscribe subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys next time on the CCN Gamecast podcast and our CCN Gaming YouTube channel. 